Um, they were doing that because, of course, they want to reproduce. They need energy. But the, um, the, the, the rise of the main kind of plant during the age of the dinosaur, dinosaurs um, group, you know, and the many species that are within that group, both herbivore, omnivorous and carnivores, of very many different families and types, um, develops because they, they, the um, first kind of uh, carnivorous dinosaurs, of course, were small, fast and fleet-footed, and they diverted off into uh, becoming larger animals to in many different uh, kinds of niches, both in the herbivorous um, niche, which was important. They started to dominate all the roles in, that they could within nature. And so mammal-like reptiles were pushed down through the food chain until they became, under the, for many hundreds of millions of years, in fact, under suppression from... Uh, Basically, our ancestors were suppressed by um, the branches of our, our our family trees, which go back to the age of the dinosaurs when mammals were basically shrew-like sized creatures, or maybe some there is some evidence of a predation of mam of by mammals on small dinosaurs of maybe small dog or badger-sized animals. Um, <clears throat> Now, of course, there's the evolutionary arms race, and it's been put in those kind of uh, Burkean. I think I think it was Edmund Burke who talked about before the idea of evolution that Darwin spoke about. Uh, it fully got into the consciousness of humanity is the state of nature. There is quite a different state of nature to what the one that philosophers like Marcus Aurelius uh, talked about. And it is a, it, it, when we're talking about evolution, we should not perhaps be projecting our own times and own context onto evolution. But the, the idea of a state of nature as chaotic and violent is probably more apt towards the more primitive animals and, and uh, times. And there is a trend towards more socially socially developed um, creatures in the higher animals because it has been proven empirically over time in the many, many, through the era, eras that I've told talked about, there have been many near mass extinctions of all life on, on Earth. Um, that's the, before the, the rise of the dinosaurs, in fact. But where, where you've got sort of loose uh, family groups at most, you could say with for the early dinosaurs, carnivorous dinosaurs, probably w were a danger to their own young in the sense that brothers of the or sisters of the older generation that preceded it would be trying to get rid of their younger siblings um, because they would be perceived as competition it is that kind of atomistic idea of of nature that precedes the highly developed and and rapid um, expansion of intelligence that I'm going to talk about in a second. Something happened um, with the rise of the dinosaurs, which led to the 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 Animals of prodigious size occurring. Now, years ago, when I was studying paleontology, um, in, in, in sorry, in preparation to study paleontology, which was one of the main courses I wanted to do, um, I tried to look into Robert Backer's work, um, and also see if there was any empirical evidence to suggest that. The sauropods, which is probably the most popular idea, apart from perhaps T. Rex, of what dinosaurs look like, you know, like Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, huge, massive animals living in, in 
the kind of loose herds that probably the uh, mammal-like reptiles that preceded them lived in and who spread uh, it, it, my, my assertion was that perhaps they did look after their young quite well in terms of living in colonies akin to how birds were, birds live but apparently empirical evidence seems to show that the kind of this, the early to me, uh, mid era um, the so Triassic to Jurassic era sauropods did not do that. They made small uh, scrapes in the in the in the ground and um, laid eggs, which um, try which developed and when they hatched, they might have stayed in an area for a certain amount of time, and then sort of gradually tried to survive. Uh, the predation, which would have been massive on ter- from um, things like uh, Gallimimus, Struthiomimus, which were uh, egg-eating, ostrich-like uh, dinosaurs, you might say, of those times. Um, and eventually, when something was, when a, a, an animal got to a certain size, it would then coalesce with other, with other sauropods. But the domination of what you might see, uh, plants that today you walk through the woods of England and they are small, uh, small uh, or very specialised kinds of um, ferns or pines, uh, conifers, for instance, which have developed and been replanted in our time, in our context, for their for their looks. Um, uh, their aesthetics to the human eye, or they've grown wild in a in a kind of diminished role to which they once had. Maybe the 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 essentially the predatory system of nature that the the Jurassic and Triassic were were under, uh, which had been the sort of as I said about memes, the idea of, um, or, or, or uh, the idea of a, a biological system or an idea which create recreates itself, perhaps the best way to explain it in terms of, in a human context, but of course DNA was selecting animals that could exploit their, the context of their environment, to be most apt, and those were, generally large animals which could produce a lot of young which would absorb through the shock of predation through just producing so many young and being and eventually evolving to such a size that they um, could they, they, their predation just would not dent their populations but there were some drawbacks to this um, in terms of the, the kinds of plants that were were used. Now, the, the reason why sauropods grew to such size um, was because they had a crop, they could eat um, stones and things like that, which could grind up vegetation and then go through a digestive system and actually dinosaur fossilised imprints or actual fossilised organs have been found now, as well as imprints of skin and feathers and um, the kind of, in later dinosaurs and in earlier dinosaurs, the kind of rough hides, imprints have been found. So we know an enormous amount, many magnitudes more than we did in the 1990s than um, about uh, the, the age of the dinosaurs which um, then we did them now than we did back then and of course because they could break down cellulose from plants it gave veg- the um, vegetarian dinosaurs herbivores 
a massive advantage over other kinds of animals like 